Well, what happened to him was starting to happen to a lot of other players, just very severely for him. And it's, it's probably a heat cramp is what we would call it simply. Um, and the environment and the, the level of play and the force of contractions all contribute to this. It's, it's hydration, it's a loss of electrolytes. So uh, in real severe conditions like South Florida, when you're active, and especially if you're not as conditioned, um, you're at a higher risk for heat cramps and even heat stroke. So hydration's always a key. Even when you're not outside active, you should always be drinking water. If you're outside for a long duration, water is always good, but you may need to mix in some kind of a sports drink, maybe even bring it down to 50% of a sports drink mixed with water is very helpful to restore electrolyte loss. In, in something like that, when it happened in the, the game, um, everything had to be done before the game as far as hydration and having the correct electrolytes. During the game when this happens, the only thing you really can do is stop the activity, some light massage, try to get into a little cooler scenario, um, ice a little bit, uh, and rest and stop the activity. Unfortunately, that means you're out of the game. Well, I, I think the, the advice for the whole team would be, and I'm sure the trainers are working on this, is hydration, making sure they have enough electrolytes. They're eating rich foods with, with electrolytes, magnesium, potassium, calcium, those kind of things, and, uh, and making sure that they're prepared for the game by um, having some opportunities to cool down during the game and, and to make sure they're drinking uh, fluids during the game.